Easy Baby Hair Heart Tutorial Hi, I'm Nikki Kaminga from Keepsaker Supplies and Tree of Opals and as part of my series on working with hair and fur we'll be making this simple resin heart ring and dangle charm. I'm going to add a trigger warning because in this video I'm going to talk about babies passing away. These baby memorial pieces are for my client Sharice and this video is dedicated to her beautiful baby Georgia who died at the age of two weeks old. I can't tell you how grateful I am to Sharice for allowing me to film this and to pay tribute to her beautiful little girl with this jewellery. My regular viewers will know that each piece means the world to me, but baby memorials are something very special for me to work with personally as a bereaved parent myself. If you're new here and you'd like me to make you something as a memorial for your own baby, then please reach out privately on info at treeofopals.com. If it's time sensitive and you'd like my help asking your, asking your care providers to help you collect a keepsake, please message us on the Tree of Opals Facebook page and we will give you my WhatsApp number. How to make a hair heart pendant or dangle charm. Cherie sent me this photo of Georgia's hair and I asked her to send it by special delivery in a kit we sent. Start by preparing the bezel cup with a very, very thin layer of resin with your colour mixed in. The thinner the better. Cure this for a minute or so under a UV nail lump until it's hard when you poke it with a cocktail stick. Repeat this with another thin layer and then the third layer should be clear resin with just a little of the colour mixture swelled in to make a pretty pattern behind the hair. You could add cremation ashes in this layer if you're using them. This tutorial shows you the easiest way to make a heart piece using a direct pour method, so it's perfect for DIY and beginners. If you'd like a tutorial on shaping hair into hearts, trees and other shapes, please leave me a comment. Put a thin line of resin on a piece of label backing paper, then add some of the hair. Don't use it all up, no matter how much the client sent you. That's very important in case you make a mistake. I'm making this heart pendant for free for Charisse as a thank you gift and to check that she likes the placement of the hair and the colour. There aren't many air bubbles in the hair. If it was fur, I'd spend more time soaking it with resin to remove them. Now cut the hair into the length you want. As there are only a few strands in this piece of hair, I'm quadrupling them up like this. I'm making it into a thicker piece without having to cut the whole lock. Carefully transfer the hair on top of the last cured layer, then spend time moving it about until you're happy. Then cure again. Now we're going to add a layer of clear. I add too much here, so use the cocktail stick to remove some resin. Give it a few seconds to level, then cure. You'll notice it comes up to the top on the sides and dips down in the middle. I then do another layer for the top coat. You can use UV top coat if you like, but this is Perdico Stardrop UV resin, so it's not sticky and it doesn't need a top coat. You could do this doming in a single layer, but UV resin can get hot if it's too thick and shrink a little, so I always work in thin layers. Allow it to cool completely, then cure again, and repeat this a few times, cooling down in between. Now I'm sending Charisse a photo of the pendant and an explanation that it's free. If you make direct pour pieces for a client, there's always a chance they might not like the colour or the placement, so it's always a good idea to make a sample up with her hair or ashes, etc. My client absolutely loved this heart charm, so I went ahead and repeated the process as closely as possible with the ring. Double and triple check the rings the correct size before you begin. There are lots of ways to hold a ring steady, but if you have a pair of reverse action tweezers like these, that's my favourite. I've put the exact settings I've used in the blog I've linked to in the description or on my link tree, but I make these rings by hand from scratch and the band is tarnish resistant. It goes much faster the second time. 
when your confidence increases and you're used to working with the client's hair. You should always return the sample piece you made for no extra charge. I sell stainless steel practice bezel cups on keepsakersupplies.com, but if you like, you can do it in solid silver. The benefit of this is your client might want you to add additional hardware like a necklace chain or a dangle charm setting, and you can ask them for £20 or so for the service and think of it as a tip. Sharice has sent me some photos of Georgia. These photos at the end may upset some viewers, so please switch to another video now if you'd prefer. Now, relax and do some crafting. <laughs>